fellow humans, um, this is my first ever sitting down in front of the camera video. Um, I've already done this bit and realised it wasn't in focus, so I'm doing it again. Um, it's probably not going to be in focus either. It's so stranger yeah. than I thought it would be considering I watch YouTube uh, as my main um, TV watching nowadays. And um, it's really strange to think that all those people are sitting at home in their houses talking to a camera um, and then we're all watching it. A bit weird. Anyway. Today's video is about um, our weekly food shop. I've been doing it on Instagram stories for a few weeks, but actually I thought I would do it for YouTube and go into a little bit more DL about what we buy. Uh, how to save money um, is a big thing, especially if you only have a limited choice of supermarkets. Uh, I, I shop at Aldi, Asda and Tesco, alternate, um, every other week type thing. Um, we normally spend between 40 and 50 pound a week. So that's between 20 and 25 pound a week each between the two of us. This week I've spent 55 pound at Asda purely because I spent five pound 50 on vegan Ben and Jerry's, which I'll probably eat some of tonight. And I also spent four pound on um, a pizza that I'm gonna eat tonight. I might as well start with that because it's just here. So I noticed in Tim Sheaf's videos that Wicked Kitchen has arrived in Tesco. So this is a all vegan and um, ready meal type company. I uh, don't normally buy into this kind of stuff to be honest. This pizza was four quid. Personally, I think that's a bit of a rip off. I can make a pizza at home for pennies. Um, the reason I bought this is because Craig's out tonight having a takeaway and I'm pretty jealous, to be honest. So um, I am gonna have this um, tonight. Uh, it's basically just a wheat flour base. It's got uh, tomato kind of sauce on, olives, uh, aubergine capers, and things like that. It hasn't got cheese on. Why? That's what I wanna know, why? Um, but yeah, sourdough is what it is. Okay, the first thing we're going to talk about is the fresh produce that we buy. We don't buy a huge amount of fresh produce considering um, what a lot of vegans buy, but I do buy a lot of frozen vegetables just because it's a good way of saving money. Um, a bit more on that later. Um, bought some bananas. We eat a lot of bananas. This is how many bananas I bought. Yeah, lots of bananas. Uh, it may seem like crazy amount. This will last us till probably Wednesday. Um, Saturday today, by the way. Um, we will eat between two and three in a smoothie um, in the morning, and then we'll eat one or two as a snack in the um, day. Bit of a weird story. Um, when I was going through the till at Tesco, the guy behind the till was pretty judgmental of how many bananas I was buying. I mean, really, Tesco man? I mean, I could have like 10 kids. Um, he said that I need to be careful eating too many bananas because it will bung me up. Um, if you're watching this somewhere where bung me up doesn't make sense, it means constipation. What? Tesco man, you're wrong. Uh, not to mention the fact that Tesco got Tesco man wasn't particularly healthy looking. Looked kind of knackered. Probably weighed about 17 stone. Not that I'm going to fat shame the Tesco man. Um, just a bit agitated by how rude he was. Kind of just said, um, actually bananas are a good source of fibre and a good way of getting some calories in um, if you're on the go and he said you need to be careful it'll bung you up and I said no it won't and he said yes it will and then somehow the man in Tesco knew more about my bowel movements than uh, than I do so there you go uh, ran over anyway they're the bananas tomatoes avocados um, these salad tomatoes like 49 pence don't faff on with tomatoes that are on the vine tomatoes on the vine are delicious but you know if you're trying to save money um, these kinds of tomatoes will do. We whiz these up in pico de gallo salsa, we chop them up in salads, we roast them for breakfast, pretty good. Um, another way of saving money, if we're going to talk about saving money, is by buying ripe and whole avocados. So unfortunately these aren't going to be good till later on in the week, but they are significantly cheaper than buying ripe ones. So yeah, you do sacrifice convenience for money, but um, they're fine. Uh, oh, yeah, avocados, avocados. I mean, as a vegan, I think this wouldn't be a food haul if I didn't mention avocados. Great source of natural fats. Really good if you've got children. Um, got some oranges. Uh, these are called Jaffa oranges. Don't know if that's like a brand or a type, but I really, really like these big oranges at the moment. I don't know what it is. We normally buy satsumas or clementines, but just kind of these particular ones, I think they might be in season somewhere in the world and that's why they're coming into the shops. 
Um, not sure how easy these will be to peel, but if they if I can't peel them, I just chop them into segments and just eat them off the off the rind. It smells so good. I'm a massive, massive orange freak, if that's a thing. Love citrus fruits. Um, also on top of citrus fruits, I've also got some limes. Always buy limes every week. We can. Um, one thing that I would always say is if you're not used to eating um, like vegan food and you think it's flavourless and you think vegetables are just meh, um, if you ha always have fresh spices, fresh herbs and um, limes, then you can flavour things without salt, pepper, fat, things like that. We always add lime to guacamole. Normally I can squeeze it on top of a Chinese dish, so if it's like whole wheat noodles and things like that, I always have them on that. Um, and if there's any left over, I'll just squeeze them into water or um, and drink that. Or I will uh, put it in... Well, I can't now remember what I'm trying to say. Smoothie. Sweet potatoes. 79 pence. I'm really annoyed by how much plastic is in the shop. I'm sorry if anyone's offended by that. I know I am. Um, so we've got five, five sweet potatoes, varying sizes. It's a kilo. 79 pence. That's awesome. Sweet potatoes are actually considerably better for you than normal potatoes, they also taste considerably better. I think I'm about just about through the produce side of things now, so I'm just going to go random order. Um, got some Violife slices. Um, this is, Violife are probably one of the best known vegan cheese companies. Um, we've bought the block before, it's made out of coconut milk by the way. We never bought the slices, but we were in York just before Christmas and we had a vegan hot dog from um, one of the stands in the Shambles Market and they had this cheese, these cheese slices, they put them on the hot dog and they melted really nice. So it's quite expensive, it's like £2.50 for 10 slices of cheese. Which, I mean, when, when are they gonna make cheese, vegan cheese cheaper, I don't know. But it's worth it. Um, we don't buy it very often. We weren't big cheese lovers before. People go, oh my God, you can't live without cheese. Here I am, living without cheese. Um, next thing, one thing I couldn't live without, olives. This is a giant jar of pitted black olives. Um, the reason I bought this jar is because we eat a lot of olives. We put them in pasta, we put them on pizzas. Craig just eats them, he loves them. Um, which is funny because when I met him he didn't. Um, didn't even like them. So also, these jars are like less than a pound. And when we're done with them, we wash them out and we use them to drink beverage out, beverages out of the speak. Um, as we are two of the most clumsiest people on this planet, we have already smashed most of our pint glasses through accidental reasons. So we do tend to drink out of jars because we are massive hipsters. And also because I normally make the smoothies the night before. So if I make a smoothie the night before, I can just chuck the lid on, chuck it in the fridge, drink it. And um, we drink pretty big smoothies in the morning. Um, this is just such a massive tangent. But yeah, a smoothie will probably be around the size of this. Um, so we'll have one of those each. I actually only have one of these jars at the moment that's this size, so I've got that. Uh, well, this would replace it. So I think the camera cut off because it was so boring when I was talking about noodles. So whole wheat noodles, high in fibre, uh, don't bung you up. Two tins of coconut milk. Uh, I normally buy whatever coconut milk is the cheapest, not gonna lie, but this one was from the whole, um, the world food section. I absolutely love coconut milk in curries, in soups, so not really sure why the camera keeps going off. I'm obviously camera new. Popcorn. I'm gonna whiz through this now, trying to do it before the camera goes off. Um, every day, every day before work we have oats, so I've got two kilos of oats. Oh my god, there's a hole in one of the oats. Ah! Um, normally buy rolled oats. Rolled oats are good. Steel cut oats are the best. Haven't tried them yet, but for cheap factor, 75 pence a kilo. Woo -hoo. And by oats, I mean we have overnight oats, so um, we don't have them in fancy, faffy jars. We just have them in Tupperware because um, we're northern. Um, so we have um, oats, oat milk, dried fruit. So I've got sultanas, everyday value sultanas. Uh, not as good as a like, proper dried fruit, but saves money. Cinnamon, raw cacao, which we buy online. Linseed, which is also known as flaxseed, which is so good for you. Um, I don't think that's it. Nuts. Did I say nuts? Um, so I've got two organic Oatly's. Oatly is the best oat milk. It's super creamy, super tasty. The brand is amazing. Like the brand value. The brand values are so good. It's just like the copy on the box. If you're a bit of a marketing freak like me and Craig, um, you will love this. 
Got some whole wheat um, fusilli pasta. Um, always buy whole wheat if you can with pasta, noodles, etc. Um, this was like less than a pound, I think 70 pence. We also have the spaghetti. It's just it's just good to have. And to go in the pasta, I'll probably use this mince. So it's soy mince, it's frozen. It's not really got that much in it, actually. It's texturized vegetable soup protein. Sorry, no, texturized soy protein. Um, and it goes nice in either chili or uh, bolognese. So that'll go with the whole thing. Else I'll probably put with the whole wheat pasta is these mixed peppers. Always buy frozen peppers as well as fresh peppers just because these will go well in um, sauces and stuff like that. Forget about smoothies. So one way of getting smoothies in cheap is if you think fruit is so expensive. Fruit is expensive, frozen fruit not as expensive. Pineapple chunks, cloves, big bag of mixed fruit, which kind of sucks because I hate strawberries. So I'll probably just dodge around the strawberries until there's a big bag of strawberries and then just like pulling them off on one of my friends because I hate I hate them. There's the coriander that I lost before. Topped up some of the spices because Tesco got a really good selection so I've got some garam masala and some cardamom pops. Cardamom? Cardamom pods. Um, got some tins. We eat a lot of tinned food obviously because we eat pulses and legumes and peas and beans to replace our protein otherwise we would die of protein deficiency like all vegans on this planet do. We've got black eyed beans, ooh, chickpeas and I've got two tins of chopped tomatoes. I just realised that the last thing in the bag is this beast. Um, we've just finished one of these, yeah it's really bad for you, sweet chilli sauce, it's a giant bottle of sugar, um, it's ironically called Healthy Boy brand which I find really funny because it's just so unhealthy, it's got 50 grams of sugar per 100 mils, <laughs> there's no excuses really, I just love it. And the last thing, I'm now regretting it being in the bottom because I'm going to have to chuck it in the freezer, is the Ben & Jerry's. So this is Ben & Jerry's chocolate fudge brownie, non-dairy ice cream. Um, by doing this, I'm probably putting it out of focus. So yeah, I'm really, really excited to try this. Oh, it's made with almonds, that's cool. Hmm. So I'm going to have that after tea, I think. It's getting on now, I've actually been doing this for a little while because obviously it's the first time I've ever made one of these videos. Um, so, hopefully you enjoyed watching me unpack my shopping onto the floor. <laughs> and um, hopefully I'll do some more of these videos because I've been enjoying doing Instagram stories recently and I think, you know what, I've been trying to do YouTube for a while and now's probably the time because, you know, now or never. Um, I suppose you might have been sitting here thinking why does she look such a mess? It's because I am 20 days into January which is my no makeup month. So I'm trying to heal my skin. Um, my skin is healing quite a lot. I do suffer with acne um, and redness and scarring. It's healing quite a lot, even though it probably doesn't look like it right now because for some reasons I've had a bit of a breakout the last couple of days. Um, but it's healing pretty fast. It feels, um, the skin itself feels like really, really good quality. So I'm probably gonna do a video at the end of this month just about what it was like wearing no makeup for a month. Um, and I'm not someone who used to wear like a little bit of makeup. I, I used to wear a lot of a lot of makeup. Um, not gonna lie, I'm still wearing a bit of mascara and eyebrow pencil when I go to work. Oh. Someone's walking past outside and they're probably thinking, who the fuck is that girl talking to herself? Anyway, um, yeah, but I don't wear any concealer or foundation or anything like that. And that was always my crux because that was what was covering up my bad skin and making my skin worse, blah, 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 blah. Save this for another video. Um, so yeah, thanks for watching this video. If you did watch it all this way, well fucking done. Am I allowed to swear on YouTube? This is actually a lot harder than I thought.